Hello everybody. The, today for math, you're assigned uh, pages 183 and 184, uh, practicing right angles. But I want to review um, <clears throat> page 181 and 182 uh, in case you guys needed help with that. Um, so for page 181, uh, it says complete the table and then want you to mark all the angles in each plane shape and also um, the sides, okay? So for number 20, you'd see right here, um, the sides are where the lines are. So if I was to count this, it would be one, two, three sides, okay? So for number 20, I would put three where it says number of sides, okay? You just write the number of sides, okay? Now the angle is where the lines meet each other, the points, okay? So right here, here, and here. So this also has three angles, okay? So for numbers 21 to 24, you do the same thing. You repeat the process. You just count up this number of sides, which is like I said, the lines, and where the dots are, where it meets up, the points are the number of angles it has, okay? Number, uh, page 182, um, it's, it's up to you, whatever um, type of shape you want to draw, just make sure you number the sides and the angles as well. So for number 25, I'll, do, I'll just do a square. And do it right here. See, I just drew a square right there. And I know the number of sides of a square would be four sides, okay? Again, I'm counting the lines, one, two, three, four. And it also has four angles. So I would write four under the angles too, okay? Now, moving on to uh, page 183, um, right angles. Remember, um, in my last video, I talked about how a right angle is makes like a corner. It's a per uh, perfect uh, horizontal line and perfect uh, vertical line meeting each other. So that's what a right angle would look like. So it asks us to look at these angles, use a piece of folded paper to help you answer the questions. Again, you don't have to use a piece of paper, you could just use your hand, that's a, that's a right angle, okay? Um, so the questions um, are based on these, all of these angles right here, okay? And they're all number, uh, labeled, I should say, uh, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So it wants to know for number one, which angles are less than right angles. So it would be less, anything that looks like it's less than a 90 degree angle, okay? And then what's greater than a 90 degree angle, anything that's more than that, okay? And then exact right angles, how many of those out of those angles, it doesn't have to be like, like this, it could be like this too, it could be upside down. So you have to look at these these angles and write which ones are less than right angles and which angle is greater than a right angle and then which angles are the same size as right angles, okay? And then for page 184, it wants you to mark all the right angles in each figure. So again, I would just go in here that's a right angle right there, I know that. So I'm gonna put a circle around it. You could do it that way, like that. Or you could just mark it like this, like I did the other day. You just mark where there's a right angle, okay? And each one of these shapes, I believe should have a right angle. They at least, all of them have at least one right angle, okay? 
Remember, right angle is straight up and, and straight across, okay? Makes like a perfect corner, if you want to think of it that way. A cor I always like to think of it as like a corner to a room um, or a corner to a door. It's a perfect right angle, okay? So that's your assignment for today, okay? Um, thank you for watching, everybody, okay?